Okay, now you're simplifying expressions with exponents, but negative exponents are going to be part of the game. Here's what I would do if I were you. Make three lines instead of two. Okay, I'll explain what each line's for here. Because the new line I made is the middle step. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. What base do you have on top? You have x. Okay. You don't need to put upper base on bottom, x. So the exponents, there's no, on top the x, there's no parentheses, so it's just to the fourth. On bottom the x, there's no parentheses, so I just put negative 6. Now I have an x on top. You got an x on bottom? Yes, you do. So this is my smaller one, and I subtract negative 6, okay? Now you can either just do that on a calculator, or you can make it plus plus, which is well, how a minus negative works, and it's 10. Okay. Now here's my question. It's a real easy question. Circle the exponent. Is it positive or negative? If it's positive, you keep it where it is on top. Okay. And then you can't simplify x to the 10th. That's just your answer. So this is for the bases and the exponents. This is to move negative exponents. By the way, if it's a negative exponent, you move it to the other side of the line. So if you have a negative exponent on top, it moves to the bottom, and it becomes a positive exponent. If you have a negative exponent on bottom, it moves to the top, and it becomes a positive exponent. Okay? So if you, you see, we didn't have to do it here because that was a positive 10. But if that would have been a negative 10, I would move the x to the bottom of the line, of the fraction line, and it would become a positive. Okay. All right, next problem. Parentheses. And in the parentheses, we have 10xy. And then outside the parentheses, we have a negative second power. Okay, so the bases put operators in. You have 10 times x times y. Nothing on bottom. Okay. By the way, underline it. Underline the thing if there's no line there. Just underline. Make your own line. So everything's on top. So 10 to the 1, but it's in parentheses. So 1 gets distributed to negative 2, which is negative 2. x is to the 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. y is to the 1. 1 times negative 2 negative 2. Okay, now circle the exponents. That's a negative, so what we do is move the base 10 to the bottom, and now the negative 2 turns into a positive. Don't keep it negative 2. You move it so you can make it positive. I'm sick of seeing people do that. Move it to the bottom, and they leave it negative. What? No, you move it to the bottom so you can make it positive. Okay, x, negative exponent. Well, move it to the bottom, becomes positive. You don't like negative exponents. We don't like those, so we move. This is called reciprocating. Now, anytime you end up with a blank top, you put a 1 there, okay, because you need a numerator. You can have a blank bottom, that's fine. You cannot have a blank top, and if you do, you put the number 1 there. It's that easy. Okay, 10 to the second, you can simplify. 10 times 10 is 100. And the variables we can't simplify because we don't know what their value is. Alright, next one. a to the fourth times b to the negative third times a to the negative tenth times b to the sixth. Underline the expression if there's not a line already there. So on top, base a. Now you have two base a's, so that will mean we'll combine them through adding. You also have a base B. You don't have any number bases. You have two of them, so you'll combine them through adding. Okay, so I'm going to be adding a 4. It's not in parentheses, so I don't multiply. And then negative 10. 4 plus negative 10 is negative 6. Then the B. Negative 3, not in parentheses, so that's what I write. And that B to the 6, not in parentheses, so I write 6. Negative 3 plus 6 is, is 3. Okay. Now circle your exponents. That's negative. So you need to move the base A to the other side of the line so it can be right written as a positive.
that base is positive, so you keep that on the side it's on. Okay. Here, I'll even abbreviate this. If it's negative, you need to switch it to the other side. If it's positive, you keep it where it's at. Okay. And you can't evaluate either of those because you don't have the variables, the, 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 the values for the variables. Okay, next one. We've got 2x to the negative third over or divided by y to the negative fourth. Put operators. Okay, so on top, the numerical base you have is 2. You also have a, a variable base of x. And then on bottom, you have a variable base of y. Alright, so 2's to the first. With 1, 2, it's to the first. Uh, it's not in parentheses, so I just drop it down. X, that's my only X I have on top. Um, it's to the negative third, no parentheses, so I put negative 3 down. And then Y, negative fourth, not in parentheses, so that's what I have. Okay, now circle your exponents. That, that you keep that where it's at. Okay, it's positive. You keep two to the first in the position it's at. That's negative. You need to switch that. So it's on top now. What's the opposite of top? Bottom. Now you can make the three a positive. Then you have this one. That's negative. That's not going to be. That's not cool if it's a negative exponent. Switch it. Gee, it's on bottom now. What's the opposite of the bottom? The top. So you bring y to the top where it can become a positive. So basically if it has a negative power, you move it to the opposite side of the line. Top, bottom, bottom, top. Then you can evaluate 2 to the first. That's 2. y to the fourth and x to the third cannot be evaluated. Okay, next problem, we have a parentheses. In that parentheses, we have 7x to the negative third power, and then a y, and then after the parentheses is closed, we have a negative second power. Underline, put your operators. So on top, we have 1 base 7, 1 base x, 1 base y. No bases on bottom yet. I see yet. So 7 to the 1, but that's in a parenthesis, so 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. x, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Then the y, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative, you need to move that to the opposite side. It's on top now, the opposite of top is bottom, and when you move it, please write it as positive 2 now. That's why you're moving it, so you can rewrite the negative exponent as a positive. x to the 6th, well, that stays, okay? So keep that where it's at, because we want that. We want the exponents positive. That's what this middle step is for. That's negative, don't like that. It's on top. What's the opposite of top? Bottom. Two. Now you can evaluate the seven to the second. Seven times seven is 49. X is six over 49 times Y is second. Okay. Next problem, in parentheses, we have 7x to the negative second, y to the negative third, and then the parentheses is closed, and we have a second power, times 8x to the second. Okay, number factors, put the times operators in. You have a 7 and 8. Now your variable factors, you have x, you actually have two of them, so we'll combine them by adding you have a y base. So 7's to the 1, but that's in parentheses, so 1 times 2 is 2. 8's to the 1, not in a parentheses, don't take 1 times 2, that's not a parentheses, it's just to the 1. Now there's two x's, start at the 1 on the left, negative 2 times 2, negative 4. 
and then the other x is just 2. So negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Okay, then the y, we have a negative 3 times a 2, and that would be negative 6. Now look at all them exponents. Positive, keep it, keep it where it's at. Positive, keep it, keep it where it's at. Negative, opposite side. It's on top now. What's the opposite of top? Bottom. Now it becomes positive 2. I should see only positive exponents in this middle part. Negative, that that's goes opposite. Opposite of top is bottom, and when you move it, then the negative 6 goes to a positive 6. That's why you're moving it. So 7 to the second, that'd be 7 times 7, that'd be 49. 8 to the first is 8, and then x second times y to the sixth. Okay, these two big numbers, we need to perform the operation. 49 times 8. 392, so the answer to that problem is 392 over x to the second times y to the sixth. Okay, here's the next problem. We have a fraction. Now on top there's a parentheses. It has 2mn and then the third power outside. Divided by, no parentheses on bottom, m to the negative third, n to the sixth. Parentheses is only around the top. Times, and then a second fraction, m to the negative eighth power and n to the sixth power. Remember, on times you want to extend the fraction. Okay, so on top, my, you do the top and the bottom separate. So if it, uh, there's just a top, the only put the times operators in. The only number base I have is a 2. Variable bases on top, you have m. You actually have two of those, so we will combine through adding the exponents. Then n. Now, bottom, we don't have any number bases on bottom. Those, All those numbers are exponents, they're powers. So we have an m variable, just one of them, and then we have an n variable. Now, there's two of them on bottom, so we'll combine them on bottom by adding. So 2, 2 to the first, but now that's in a parenthesis, so 1 times 3 is 3. Now the m, there must be two of them since we're adding, so that'd be to the first, and that's in a parenthesis, so 1 times 3 is 3. Then the other m I have is to the negative 8, but it's not in a parenthesis, so it's just a negative 8 power. It's not in parentheses, there's no distribution. So 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. Okay, okay n, 1, 1 times 3 is 3. Now let's talk about the bottoms. Here's the m on bottom. It's to the negative third, but the parentheses is not surrounding that, so it's just a negative 3. Now the n, there's two of them. You have a 6, not in a parentheses, because a parentheses is just around the top, and then a 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. Now, remember when we have stuff on top and bottom, we need to cross out. You have a base 2 on top. Do you have that in the denominator? No. You have a base m. Do you have that in the denominator? Yes. So one of them gets crossed out. Well, we want to cross out the lesser of the two and subtract it from the other side. Now, negative 5, negative 3. Negative 5 is less, okay? And then I minus negative 5. Don't just minus 5. You're minusing negative 5. Now, you could plus plus that, and it would be negative 3 plus 5 is 2, m to the second. Now, n, you have that on bottom, don't you? n to the third, n to the twelfth. So get rid of your lower one, and then subtract the three from the other side. Twelve minus three is nine, so that n is now n to the ninth. Okay, so we have two to the third. That's positive, so we keep that where it's at. So keep. That's positive. Don't move it to the top. You'd move it to the top if it was a negative. If it's a positive, you keep it where it's at. Okay? Means you keep it exactly in the position it's in. And that goes with the end to it as a positive power. Keep it in the position it's in. Okay? That's it. 2 to the third, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And then m to the second times n to the ninth.
Okay, last problem. In parentheses, remember, underline the expression. You have 5x to the negative fourth, y to the third, and then a negative 2 outside times, and then another parentheses, 5x to the y, and then the second power outside. Okay, number bases, I have two fives. Well, that means I'll just make it one base five and put an addition sign. You have two bases of x, so adding, and two bases of y. Nothing on bottom to start with. Something might move there if it has a negative exponent. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And on the other 5, 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, negative 2 plus 2 is uh, 0. Okay, so we'll put 0 there. Okay, x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. And then the other x is in parentheses. 1 times 2 is 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now the y, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and then 1 times 2 is 2. Now look at all your exponents. 5 to the 0. 0 is not a negative, so it stays in the position it's in. 10 is a positive, it stays in the position it's in. Okay, that's a y to the negative 4th. That needs to switch positions, so it goes from the top to the bottom, and now it can become a positive. Okay, 5 to the 0 can be evaluated. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Okay. That's it. Now, if you want to, you can go work on the assignment in the back, or you can keep watching me do examples. It's up to you. Okay. If you still think you need to practice, go for it. Okay, m to the negative 8 divided by m to the negative 6. So we have a base of M on top and a base of M on bottom, no number bases. So no parentheses, so they just take their exponents. If you have one on top, one on bottom, you take out the smaller of the two, and you subtract negative 8 from the bottom. So minus negative 8 is the same as actually adding 8, so that would be 2. So we got m to the second. It's a positive exponent, so it stays in the position it's at. So if it's in the bottom position now, it stays in the bottom position, so it keeps its negative exponent. Now the top, we need. you can't have an empty top. You can have an empty bottom, not an empty top. If you have an empty numerator, you put 1. So 1 over m to the second. You can't evaluate that. Okay, 5xy to the negative fourth power. Okay, so 5, they're all to the negative 4, because they're all to the 1, but they all need to get multiplied by negative 4. Negative, I think so, switch its position. So down here, now it's positive 4. Negative 4, can't have that, switch its position, now it's positive 4. Can't have that, switch the position, now it's positive 4, you put a 1 there. Okay, you can evaluate 5 to the power of 4. That equals 625 times x of 4 times y to the 4, and that's it. Okay, okay x to the 5th, y to the negative 6, remember this means times, times x to the negative 9 times y to the 8. Remember, do not put multiplications dots between the base and the exponent. Okay, you don't have any number bases, variable bases. You have x, since there are two different ones, we'll combine through adding, because it's multiplication. And then y, combined through adding. So 5, negative 9. Remember, you don't need to distribute. There's no parentheses. That would make negative 4. Then y, you have a negative 6 and an 8. That would be 2. Okay, negative, that has to switch its position to the bottom, so it's positive. And y to the second, that keeps its position because it already has its positive exponent. 
It only moves if it has to have a if it because we don't want negative exponents. Y to the second, x to the fourth. Those cannot be simplified. Okay, next up, 5m to the negative fourth divided by n to the negative sixth. So on top, you got a numerical base of 5, a variable base of m. And on bottom, you have just the variable base of n. So 5 to the 1, not in a parentheses, so you don't distribute. m, negative 4, negative 6. Okay, that keeps its position because it's already positive. That needs to switch its position to the bottom so it becomes positive. That has to switch its position, so the bottom switching it would go to the top. Positive. Then 5 to the first is 5. Okay, next one, parentheses, 4a to the negative second with b and then negative 2. So you got 4 times A times B. Okay. okay, so 4, 1 times negative 2, negative 2. A, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, negative 2. It's got negative exponent. It switches positions to the bottom, so now it can be a positive. That has a positive exponent. It keeps its position. That is a negative exponent. It has to switch positions to the bottom so it can be a positive. Remember, if it's negative exponent on top, you move it to the bottom. If it's a negative exponent on bottom, you shift it to the top. Okay, so you got a to the fourth, four to the second, four times four is sixteen times b to the second. Okay, next one, we have a parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have 5x to the negative third, y to the second, and the parentheses is closed. You have a negative second outside, and then times 7x to the third. So the operators are all multiplication, except for the exponents. So it's just multiplying and exponents. Okay, underline. So everything starts on top. The number bases are 5 and 7. So 5 times 7. The variable bases are x, two of them. So that will involve adding the exponents because when I'm multiplying variable, when I'm multiplying common bases, I add their exponents. And y. So 5 to the 1, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And then a 1, but that's not in parentheses, so you just put 1. Now the x, you'd take negative 3 times negative 2, that would be 6. And the other x is to the third, so 6 plus 3 is 9. Now the y, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Okay, now let's look at our exponents. That position has to switch. Now it's positive. That position keeps positive you keep it in the position it's in okay that's positive you keep it in the position it's in y to the negative fourth you need to switch positions on that and now it's positive four i shouldn't see any negative powers over here okay that's what this step is for seven to the first is seven five to the second can be evaluated that's 25 and x to the ninth can't be simplified, and neither can the y to the fourth. Now you could divide, try dividing 7 by 25. It does a decimal, so just leave it as a fraction. Okay, next problem. I have two fractions with a multiplication. On top of the first fraction, I have the quantity, the parentheses, 7xy to the second power. Underneath the fraction, we have x to the negative third, y to the negative sixth. On the second fraction, we have x to the negative eighth on top and y to the positive third on the bottom. Okay, remember, extend the line. So times, times, times already there, times. 
So that's all multiplication. There's no adding or subtracting operators. It doesn't mean you don't add or subtract anything because you do it the exponents, but it's a whole it's one whole multiplication problem. Okay, the only number base I have in the entire problem, it's on top is seven. And then we have base x, we have two of them on top, so that will involve adding, and then one base y on top. Now go to the bottom. No number bases, you have x as a base, just one of them. And then on bottom you have y as a base twice, so that will involve adding. Okay, so 7, 7 to the 1, in parentheses, 1 times 2 is 2. Now the x's, we know there's two of them on top, that's why the addition signs are. 1 times 2 is 2, and the other one is just a negative 8. So 2 plus negative 8 is negative 6, so cross that out and put negative 6 x to the negative 6 power. Then y, you got a 1, 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, now x is on bottom, you just have the 1, it's to the negative 3rd, and it's not surrounded by the parentheses. The parentheses was just on top, so it's just a negative 3. And then the y, there's two of them, neither is in parentheses, so it's going to be negative 6 plus 3. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So y to the negative third. Now remember, you don't have a 7 on bottom, but you do have x on top and bottom. So you have x to the negative 6, x to the negative 3. What's smaller? x negative 6 is, so we take that out. And then we subtract, not 6, negative 6. Negative 3 minus negative 6. Well, that's like plus plus 6, which is 3. So x to the 3. Now, y to the second, y to the positive second, y to the negative third. Which one's smaller? Well, probably the y to the negative third. But you don't minus 3, you minus negative 3. Plus, plus. That would be 5. Okay. Okay, now, positive exponent, it stays in its position. Positive exponent, it stays in its position. Positive exponent, it stays in its position. A lot of people say, oh, that's a positive. It's got to be on top. No, that has nothing to do with it. Positive exponent means it stays in its position. Negative exponent means it switches positions, whether that be from top to bottom or bottom to top. 7 to the second, 7 times 7 is 49. Times y to the fifth, x to the third. Okay, last one. 2 times x to the negative 7, second times y to the third, then to the second, times 5 times x to the third, times y to the second. All Nothing in there but multiplying operators. So if you have nothing in there but multiplying, dividing, this is how to simplify it. Having an addition sign somewhere in there changes the game. Okay, that's not in this unit really though. So number bases, we have a 2 and a 5, so 2 times 5. Variable bases, we have x, 2 of them, plus, then y, there's two y bases, so add. So 2, 1, 1 times 2 is 2. 5, 1, 1 times 2 is 2. Now there's two base x's. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4. 3 times 2, 6. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Now on y, we have a 3 times a 2. Remember, it's in parentheses. you got to distribute to find the exponent. Then 1, 1 times 2 is 2. So 6 plus 2 is 8. Now there's nothing on bottom to cross out. So... And all of these stay in the same position because they're all positives. 2 to the 2nd times 5 to the 2nd times x to the 2nd times y to the 8th. 2 to the 2nd, 2 times 2 is 4. 5 to the 2nd, 5 times 5 is 25. And x to the 2nd, y to the 8th. Okay. 4 times 25 is 100. You need to remember to multiply those when they're like that. Okay. 
the operation between the two big numbers is multiplication. You need to carry it out. Okay.